So one cool way to use a Google Form is using it as a documentation tool to maybe uh, track different behaviors for students in your classroom, provide a description, and then what you did uh, to take action with that particular situation. So how do you do it? Well, first step would be creating your Google Form. Uh, some settings that you might want to particularly take a look at, especially if you're Google Apps for Education School, is right here you want to go to settings. When you go to settings, you'll want to probably restrict to users within your school district. Even though you're going to be the only one using this, because a Google Form is a public document, um, it is possible that somebody could access your Google Form and you want to restrict that. Also, it may be a good idea to collect email addresses automatically so that you can see, uh, is it just yourself or did somebody else try to enter in data? I'm going to just uncheck this right here, um, response receipts, because you really won't need it. I'll then hit save. So once I do that, now what I'll do is I'll go and I need to create a QR code so that I can access this quickly. So I'll go up to send, and when I go to send, I'm going to go right here where this link is and I'm going to copy it. Once I copy it, I'm gonna to go to a website. There's a couple different websites that you can go to. This is uh, qrstuff.com. QR Code Generator is also a really great site that you can go to. You simply paste in your QR code. You see that it creates a QR code right here. I'm gonna just download it. And now when I download this QR code, here it is. I can print this out, I can put it on a piece of paper, and put this somewhere in my room uh, so that I can then access this. Now let's say, for instance, you're gonna be absent, you know you're gonna be absent, and you just wanna take an extra precaution that um, shut your form down. You can click right here where it's no longer accepting responses. Make sure that you turn it back on when you're ready to respond. So let's show you how this works in action. So for example, let's say that, for instance, um, I actually, um, classified this student as you know being speaking out being disrespectful I type in some information um, I talked with the student I contacted their parent and I'm gonna hit submit now what I can do is I can actually uh, go through and I'm just changing the uh, the names of uh, the individual right here uh, for on purpose all right so I'm gonna see that I have two responses. So when you're working in a Google form, you have the responses tab right here. This responses tab will tell you how many total responses do you have. It'll see who collected, uh, it collected who filled out this form, which was me. Uh, it'll put down the first name of the student, the last name of the student, the types of behaviors, the description of the events. This is great if you wanna analyze a whole entire class, but how do you individually uh, look at trends for an individual student. Well, you could go to this individual tab and it'll take you to the individual entries every single time that you filled out a form, or you can go to your Google Sheet. Now, just to let you know, all of your information in a Google Sheet is completely private unless you decide to share it with somebody right up here. So no student can access this or anybody else. You'll see that it's time stamped. You'll see that you have all the information right here and it did collect my username information from my Google Apps for Education domain. Now let's say that you wanna communicate this to parents or an administrator. What you could then do is you could use the filtering tools right up here. Uh, how do you use them? Well, it's actually really simple. You highlight your first row, so you click right here on the one. You'll go right here to the filtering tool, click, turn that on, and then now you can go through and you can filter by a specific person. So let's say I hit clear. I only want person with the last name B. I hit OK. It filters. So now what I can do is I can send this to my administrator because uh, maybe I have tons of different events. I would probably download this as a PDF just because when you download it as a PDF, the data uh, cannot be manipulated. Here it is in a PDF format, and then you can send that to your administrator or parents. So really great way to use a Google form with a QR code. And the best part is with the QR code, you can use your mobile device uh, in order to access this so that you can quickly enter in student information as it occurs.